run the job. Okay, it's uh, June 14, 2018. We're at the Frontier Field tonight preaching the gospel. Um, this is an event called 98 PXY Summer Jam, and what's really uh, nice about this event is that there's a lot of young people here a lot it's mostly just teenagers 12 to 14,000 people are going to be in attendance here so and uh in light of um last week an 18 year old girl uh was killed in a car accident and another one seriously injured and i think uh, this is a timely uh, message to bring the gospel to these young people I'm here to warn men of their sin today, especially you young people today, because one day you have an appointment with God. It is appointed unto men once to die, but after this comes the judgment. Don't be deceived today. The unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God. The unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God. Be not deceived. Neither fornicators, nor adulterers, nor idolaters, nor effeminate, nor abusers of themselves with mankind, nor revilers, nor drunkards, nor effeminate, nor thieves. But God says in His Word, the Apostle Paul says, but such were some of you. It's not, you can't stay in your sin and be saved. You need to be saved from your sin tonight because the wages of sin is death. And we're not just talking about just dying. We're talking about a judgment. It is appointed unto man once to die, but after this comes the judgment. God calls this the second death whosoever God says that one day he's going to open the books and the books were open and another book was open which is the book of life God's got a book of life folks and if your name's not found written in it then then God doesn't know you and God says that you're going to be cast into the lake of fire which is the second death you're either going to be, you need to be born again, born after the seed of God. God says if you're born of God, you don't sin. Sometimes people will try to get us to uh, say, oh, well, haven't you ever did that and done this and don't you do that? No, folks. God says that if you're born of God, you cannot sin because the seed of God remains in you. Jesus Christ died for your sins and when he 
When he saves a man, he does it all the way. He blots out their sin. But if a man refuses and rejects the gift of God, which is eternal life, through Jesus Christ our Lord, then he's going to go to a judgment where God's going to open the books and judge him according to the righteousness of God. And if your name is not found written in God's book of life, then you'll be cast into the lake of fire. This is the second death. That's right, folks. You either could die twice or you could be born twice. If you're born twice, then you're saved. You're born again. The flesh is flesh, and the spirit is spirit. And you need to be born again to see the kingdom of God. But if you die in your sins, that God says right now, as you walk today, that you're dead in trespasses and sins. And the wages of sin is death. But the gift of God, the gift, that's what we preach to you young people today the gift of God eternal life Jesus saith I am the way the truth and the life that's right you want to know what truth is Jesus Christ is truth and he is the truth and no man can come unto the father but by him you need his righteousness to go to heaven because there is none righteous and all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. The only way you can have the righteousness of God is to have the righteousness of Jesus Christ by faith. That's the only righteousness that you can have is the righteousness of Jesus Christ and he gives it and he gives it as a gift to those that believe on him and call upon his name. And the Lord is not slack concerning his promise as some men count slackness, but he is long-suffering to us word, not willing that any should perish today. The will of God for all you young people is that you will seek the Lord God and come to the knowledge of the truth so that you could have your sins washed away by the blood of Jesus Christ who took all of men's sins away on that cross so that you can have eternal life. The wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life. You young people today, you need to seek life. You need to seek the life of the righteous God, Jesus Christ. There is one mediator between God and men, the man Christ Jesus. Jesus Christ, the Son of God. He's the only one that could take your sin because he was without sin. He went into hell for you. He went into the heart of the earth and preached to the prisoners. And then he led captivity captive. And those that believe will be saved. And those that believe not will be damned. Don't be damned today, folks, because you're already condemned. The cross of Jesus Christ condemns you. But now you need the salvation of Jesus Christ so that you could have eternal life and enter into his kingdom. And you do that by calling upon the name of the Lord and repenting and believing that he died for your sins. That if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, that's the only one, one way to God, the Lord Jesus, Believe in thine heart that God hath raised him from the dead, the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ, and that he is risen from the dead, and with the heart man believeth unto righteousness. That's repentance. When you believe God, his righteousness, and you see that you're unrighteous, and repent with godly sorrow, calling upon the name of the Lord, thou shalt be saved. Why don't you do that tonight, folks? Why don't you stop living after man young people the 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 devil wants to deceive you into hell with him but god wants you you know i wouldn't laugh especially if i was a woman because the first woman was deceived that's how sin entered into the world because a woman didn't believe god because a woman being deceived partook and that's why, folks, sin by one, sin entered into the world. And by 
And so death passed upon all men because Eve and her husband partook, but the woman was deceived. She was in the transgression being deceived. That's right, young ladies. God's will for you is to be a young godly lady. Not a whoremonger or a whore, but a godly woman. A godly woman. Oh, don't worry. Don't worry, because that's where you are headed today, folks. That's what they're teaching you. They're passing out condoms in school. That's right, so don't tell me that I just said a bad word. They're encouraging the young people to fornicate. That's right, young female women. God wants you to be a godly woman, a help me to a man. Young man, he wants you to be a God-fearing man in, rever in honor your wife and be saved and raise your children according to God. Make a covenant with God. But how are you going to do that if you can't make a covenant with God to be to have eternal life, to turn from your sins, turn to the living God? That's right. God made them in the beginning. He made them male and female. He wants males to be males females to be females. It's very obvious that a woman and a woman can't have children and a man and a man can't have children. So right there by just natural logic, you see that it's against God. You need to repent, young people. And Jesus Christ is the only one that can save you. He's the only name you could call on to be saved. Repent and believe the gospel. The kingdom of God is at hand. Come to repentance. The Lord, the Lord is not slack concerning His promise, folks. I'm not going to talk to you, ma'am. You don't want to hear the truth. You don't want to hear. Do you believe what God says? Yeah, believe in God, but okay, well then you don't believe God. No, they're not going to be in hell. Yes, they are. That's what God's word says. All sinners, all sinners, all sinners. And this is really what this is all about. When you said, "What are you talking about?" It's because you're a sodomite. That's why. It's because you're a sodomite and you justify your sin. God says in Romans chapter one that a woman with a woman is against nature. So God says that you don't believe God. God, you don't believe God. Look at you. Why don't you cover yourself? You don't believe God. You believe your. You believe your own. You believe. You believe the God of. You believe the God of this world. You believe the God of this world. You know Repent, sinner. Repent and call upon the name of the Lord, sinner.